So I'm making a series of videos where I'll be finding out what I can build and I'll break down two different Lego sets and use only the pieces I have available. I'm not talking about just sticking the wings of an Avengers Quinjet onto a Darth Vader's TIE fighter. Though that does actually sound really cool. But I'm talking about something totally original. I've got a pretty good collection of mainly Marvel and Star Wars sets which I've listed in the description below. So if you've any ideas on which sets you'd like to see me mash together in the future, then feel free to leave a comment. So as you can see, the first two sets I've decided to use are the Quantum Realm Explorer from Marvel's Island and the Wasp film. This is set number 76109 and contains 200 pieces. It's got great features which I'd love to somehow fit onto my build. I love the dome features at the front and that easy to stand out feature of this set. It's got shooters which I'm sure to use, probably under the wings or at the front of the cockpit. And I love the piping on the side, and I've got plenty of it. I think there's six pieces in all, and I'd like to make use of the pontoons underneath. The triangular sections I love as well, and I'll definitely find some of these to go. The second set is the quadjet from Marvel's Captain Marvel film. It's part of the Captain Marvel and the Scroll Attack set, which is number 76127 contains 307 pieces. I don't believe there's many sets from this film, in fact this may be the only one. It's got plenty of awesome pieces for me to use. The cockpit isn't hinged like you see on a lot of sets, but rather a push on, pull off feature, which I may need to adopt if I choose to use this canopy over the dome from the Ant-Man set. It has a missile mechanism under each wing, which I won't replicate, but I'll certainly use the white cones from the front. At the back it's got a loading bay which again you see on most of the Marvel airships in particular and I'd like to try and add that to my own but maybe make it wider as this only has a two stud gap between the doorway. The other pieces I'm sure to use are the fins at the back. I've got four all together so I can use them in two blocks of two like the original or we'll just space them out, maybe put a couple on the wing and two elsewhere. So these are the ones I chose to start with. I chose them because they've got similar colour palettes with the tones of grey and the red. I was tempted to add in the War Machine Hulkbuster for the same reasons, but for the first video I thought I'd stick with just the two sets. And between them, I've got enough interesting parts to use those. So, it's time to break these down and see what I've got to use. I'm doing a piece count at the end of the video, as clearly I'm not using every piece from the box, but my aim is to use at least 85% to 90% of all the bricks that I have available. I'm going by the instruction manual rules on what's classified as a piece, like these gear sticks, although they can separate, they are classed as one piece, whereas these hinged pieces, they're classed as two separate pieces.
These piping sections are from the Outman set and I've got six to use so hopefully I'll get all of them on if I can. I'll even mount them from underneath somehow or maybe flip them to look less like piping and more like cannons. I've got some nice detailed bricks from that one set showing exposed wires which I'll definitely use as well as these long red sections but I'll try to mount on the outside somehow. This is all of it, 470 pieces all together. Lots of cool bricks to use, so it's time to start building. Straight away I'm trying to decide whether the wings would look better if they point forwards, a bit like the A-Wing set from Star Wars, or more like the classic plane look. on these wing-like sections, I've managed to incorporate those triangular frame bricks, which for me gives it a more classic Star Wars look. I'm going to try the A-wing look with the wings point forwards. The only concern is that the ship size won't need as many bricks, and I need to use at least 85% of what I have available. Now, change of plan, I decided to use the base that I had as the main fuselage and build around that, requiring me to build a fresh set of wings later. I like to be able to look inside my own ships, the ones that I've bought. So I'm trying to add various points where pieces detach or lift so that the inside is accessible. I've got another access point to the front of the ship using a wing hinge pieces from the quad jet. I really like the triangular bricks either side of the door. They lead you nicely up from where I think the cockpit will be placed up to the fuselage.
at this point I hit a snag. So far from making sure the build is relatively symmetrical which requires an even number of the required brick. As was making the loading bay, I realised I was shy of two of the inverted roof tile bricks. A 2x1 stud, but I did have two 3x1 bricks available. At this point I remembered using the same bricks that I needed at the front of the build. So I replaced these two 2x1s with my 3x1s and it worked out perfectly. Actually the front looked a lot cleaner and I could also carry on building the back exactly as I wanted it. I decided to go with the quad jet canopy for the cockpit rather than the dome. What I've already built at this point makes me think it'll look a lot sleeker. With that choice made, I had to build a back panel behind the seat with two exposed studs to be able to join the unique fixing style of the canopy. Bricks were getting sparse by the time I got to the wings, so for the first time on this build, and hopefully the last, I had a slight colour mismatch on the underside where I had to use a grey 2x2 tile to lengthen it. Well, I managed to use the dome side panels. Those are as flush as I'd like. I think they look okay. I can't really make it sit flusher because the bricks that are on top of the wing are basically holding it all together. I even managed to get two other fins onto the wings too, which work well. As a 3x2 tile on the fin mould covered a joining section which really needed to firm things up.
managed to hold the wings in place by mashing together some 2x2 cylinder bricks that I had left. I did have a few better solutions from the pile of bricks I still had available, but I wanted to keep the symmetry. Now all I have to do is add the landing gear onto the bottom and look through what I've got left to add some finishing touches. Well, this is it finished. I think it looks pretty good. I've named it the model CJ22 Vulture. I chose the Vulture due to the shape of the nose and the feather like structure of the grey blocks leading up to the fuselage. Also, the feet at the bottom look almost like a, they're almost bird like in my opinion. There are three ways to access the inside. At the back, I've put in loading doors using the top of the Quantum Explorer as a vehicle ramp. cockpit clips on and off in a similar vein to the original quad jet and I think when it's slotted back on the whole front section blends together really nicely. Access point 2 at the front is a simple hinge mechanism but I managed to get some of the detailed exterior of the quad jet into the inside which I think gives it an extra bit of character. You can see these better when removing section 3 from the top, which probably allows you the best avenue for play. You can also see from the back there are two panels inside, which split the loading bay up from the main area. Like with anything, there's a few areas I'm not so keen on. I always seem drawn to making these rectangular, very blocky middle sections, like when I did when I was a child. I think I blend it in better here, where the fuselage meets the wings, and ultimately, and I'm hoping as the videos go on, I can learn much better building techniques. I also think the wings seem a little bit cluttered. This is more due to me trying to reach the 85% piece challenge, as well as not having many decent tiles left in order to actually hold the wings together. So to end this video, I thought I'd make a mock-up of what I think a box would look like if it was in the stores. I started to build with 470 pieces available to me and I used 406 to make the Vulture, meaning that I achieved the 85% challenge, but I only scraped over the line at around 86% of what I had available. Thanks for watching everyone. I really enjoyed making this video, and if you did too, then feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'll try and read any comments that come through, and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next mashup.